In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 strange facts about North Korea. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. North Korea is an amazing country. This is one of the most intriguing places you could ever choose to visit because it is mysterious, destitute, and frequently makes the headlines. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea is one of the most secretive nations in the world, making it a fascinating subject to discuss. So why not add some strange but entertaining information about North Korea to your conversations? Given how enigmatic North Korea is, it can occasionally be challenging to distinguish between reality and fiction. The most alarming facts about North Korea that you probably haven't heard before have been uncovered by cutting through the fluff. Number 10. North Korea is full of natural beauty. The majority of people associate North Korea with harsh government and brutalist architecture. While this is, regrettably, North Korea's grim reality, the many attractive aspects of the country are frequently overlooked in the news. The nation, for instance, has a lot of beautiful natural surroundings. For instance, there are numerous beautiful beaches with golden sands along the Pacific coast. Inland, Mount Myohyang offers breathtaking mountain vistas, luxuriant woods, and challenging hiking trails. There is undoubtedly more to this mysterious nation than meets the eye. Number 9. North Korea actually has its own space program. Depending on who you ask, there are huge discrepancies in the program's success. When Kwangmingzing won, the North Korean space program's reportedly first satellite was launched on August 31, 1998, it attracted attention from all around the world. Although North Korea's leadership stated that the launch was successful, no launch-related artifacts have ever been found in orbit. The launch was viewed as a failure outside of North Korea. Since then, there have been four launches, with the most recent occurring in 2016. The two spacecraft that did actually enter orbit both had problems. Naturally, all launches have been a huge success in North Korea's eyes. Number 8. North Koreans don't have access to the Internet. With the exception of a few thousand selected elites, that is. The Internet is completely unavailable to the rest of the nation. You might be permitted access to Kwangmyeong, North Korea's own intranet, if you chance to reside in Pyongyang or one of the country's other major cities and work or study in a high-tech sector. A few tightly controlled state-approved websites and a basic email client are accessible over this network, which operates within the nation. Only those who work for the government's propaganda or hacking teams are permitted access to the real internet, excluding the elite. 9. Number 7. North Korea isn't a communist country. It's a frequent misperception that North Korea is still a communist nation. Kim Il-sung held socialist and communist views, but as time passed, the nation he founded swiftly lost its communist identity. Many traditional communist practices were abandoned and replaced, as evidenced by the nation's new ruling dynasty. Jush, a uniquely North Korean political philosophy developed by Kim Il-sung and centered primarily on self-reliance, superseded the DPRK's communist tenets. The word communism was totally deleted from the constitution by 2009 after being gradually eliminated from all official state documents. Number 6. North Korea has once provided aid to the South. After a series of floods destroyed South Korean residential areas near the border on September 30, 1984, the government of that country made an effort to project that everything was under control. However, when North Korea offered assistance, the South Korean government immediately said yes and accepted deliveries of 100,000 tons of cement, 7,200 tons of rice, 550,000 yards of cloth, and 759 cases of medicine. However, it did little to improve the situation between the two nations. Number 5. North Korea's Mandatory Military Service for Women and Men Some nations still require their citizens to serve in the military, but none are as extensive as North Korea. With 11 years for men and 7 years for women, North Korea has the longest mandatory military duty. 
With more than 1 million active forces and more than 6 million paramilitary personnel, this required service has made the North Korean army the fourth largest military in the world. Number 4. North Korea's leader is a dead man. The only other nation in the world where a dead guy serves as the official leader is North Korea. Kim Il-sung was designated the eternal leader of the DPRK posthumously in accordance with North Korean law, necrocracy. Kim Jong-un does not hold the office of president, although holding the titles of supreme leader of the DPRK, supreme commander of the army, and chairman of the Workers' Party. Number 3. The same family has ruled North Korea since it was founded. Kim Il-sung, the first leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, became powerful during World War II as a revolutionary guerrilla warrior. He spent a lot of time in the USSR and Communist China, which led to him being given command of North Korea, which was under Soviet rule. Kim Il-sung presided over the founding of the DPRK. From 1948 until his death in 1994, he ruled, earning the moniker Great Leader. In a rather unconventional step for a communist state, Kim Jong-il succeeded his father. According to reports, Kim Jong-il was a very temperamental leader with an exaggerated feeling of self-importance, which frequently compromised his capacity to rule. Number 2. The people of North Korea do not call themselves North Koreans. Long periods of history have seen the region which today includes both North and South Korea as a single, United State. Ever since the two sides of the country split apart after World War II, this unification has been divided. There is no division as far as North Korea is concerned. Although they only govern the northern part of the Korean peninsula, technically they are all members of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. They contend that although the residents in the South are likewise Koreans and DPRK citizens, they are currently suffering under an unconstitutional government. Number 1. North and South Korea have been at war since 1950. Following Japan's occupation of Korea after the end of World War II, both Soviet Russia and the U.S. had ambitions for the future of the nation. As a result, U.S.-led forces took control of the south of the nation while Soviet-led forces took control of the north. As a result, a communist government supported by the USSR emerged in the north, while a pro-Western government led by the U.S. emerged in the south. Although both sides wanted to unite Korea, their visions for the new country's structure were extremely different. Every effort to find common ground ended in failure. As the two sides' tensions increased, war eventually broke out in 1950. Despite the fact that the battle came to a standstill in 1953, no formal peace treaty was signed by the two sides, and the conflict continued after that. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.